Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of March 28th to April 3rd, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see your energy for the week. All right, spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love. For this week, first card we have is the tower. Okay, that's your card, Scorpio, showing up. We have here the nine of cups. We have the fool. We have the world. And the Queen of Wands. And we have the King of, no, Knight, Knight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. All right, Scorpio, so, um, you know, I feel like you're interested in, a, in one person, um, some, but I feel like some of you have options, you know, we have the Seven of Cups, so some of you have multiple options in love, or you know you could, or you know you could have um, multiple options in love if you want it, if you wanted it, if you wanted to have it. You know, some of you know that, you know, you're not stuck to just one person. There, are, There's other options and you could have anybody who you want because I do see that people are attracted to you, which is, you know, normal, right? Um, for a Scorpio, Scorpio is a sign that easily attracts people without having to do anything. It just... It's just the energy that you carry is, you know, can easily attract others to you. Kind of your energy of confidence mixed with uh, mystery. Mysterious confidence. But I feel like your eye your eyes on are on one person in in particular and you know this might be the obsessive part of you because scorpio does represent obsession in astrology so you might be obsessing over one specific person but i feel like whoever you're obsessing about it's it's not the right person for you and and you know it's not the right person could be an aries we have the fool here you know it's not the right person for you for some reason you two just don't you're not on the same frequency you're not on the same page i kind of feel like there's an incompatibility there between you two 
Um, you two want different things. You two value different things. And overall, your personalities just don't seem to match. But I feel like that might be what makes you want them even more, you know, that might be what makes you obsess over them. The fact that they are so different or the fact that they are unavailable in, in some way, I guess. Maybe forbidden or unavailable or just different. It's, it's the differences that make you attracted to this person. Maybe I even kind of see some of you might even have a little bit of a hate-love relationship with this person. Where you, you know, you hate them and you love them at the same time, so. Which can, you know, lead you tor towards a toxic relationship. Many times that's what ends up happening. I feel like you want more from this person also. I feel like you wish this person were, were more attentive, would demonstrate more interest, would show you more attention. You might feel like this person feels very detached or cold or distant or or unemotional and you might desire to to see more emotion from this person sorry about that noise outside let me close the window i don't think that i don't think that's gonna help all right so i do feel like you're in like you're on standby for some reason. I feel like you have other options here or you know you could have other options, but you're keeping yourself kind of in a neutral state here, in a neutral place in regards to love and relationships. It's like you're you're keeping to yourself. But I feel like I can I see you still thinking about one specific person. Um, but again, I feel like whoever you're thinking about, they're, they might not be the right match for you because it, it looks like they're not, they're not aligned with you in some way. There's, the energies are not aligned between you two. Tell me more about that spirit. Tell me about the fool for a Four of Swords in Reverse, and the Page of Wands. Okay. They might be a... For some of you, this is a player with the Page of Wands, or this is someone who is not available, or they're not really looking for anything serious. What about you? We have the moon. Yeah, you're a lot more deep and a lot more emotional here in the Hierophant in reverse. So we do have the Hierophant, which is commitment. I feel like you're, you're unsure. You're not sure if you, if you could have a commitment with this person. You're not sure if that could be a possibility. The moon can represent confusion and feeling um, just a lack of clarity. Yeah, so it's like you, you have feelings for them, but you just don't see, um, you just don't know if things could ever become serious between you two. And you, at the same time, you might feel like this person is, you know, in a different world than you or a different type of personality than you. 
you might feel like you two don't completely, like I said, you don't completely align with each other. Even like vibrationally, there's a distinct difference between you two. All right, let's take a look at your person and let's see what are their feelings. Sorry for that noise outside. I have no idea what that is. Hopefully it stops soon. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's um, what is this person's energy, whoever it is that Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? All right, first card in regards to your person, Scorpio, we have here is the Five of Wands, the Death card. Why are you two showing up together? It's so sh weird. The Two of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you two are showing up together here because both of you are like thinking about each other, like at the same time, which is interesting. You two might have like a karmic connection or a karmic relationship, almost like a twin flame type of energy also for some of you. We have here at the bottom Nine of Swords. Let's take a look. Five of Wands, Death in Reverse, Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I feel like there's this kind of love-hate relationship between you two. I feel like it's showing up on this person's side as well. It showed up on your side and I feel like it's showing up on their side as well. It's almost like there is a constant struggle between you two or like a, a power struggle uh, or a competition. It could be kind of competitive sometimes between you two where both of you want to have the upper hand or both of you want to um, prove, that, prove that you can resist the other person more than the other person can. This person definitely feels an attachment with you with the death card in reverse. Um, but we do have the two of wands, so I do see that they're indecisive about what they what they want to do with this relationship. Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles. So they are holding back a lot from you. Um, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this person is very focused on their work, their money, their career. They're focused on other things, um, on other responsibilities. Um, they might not be making a lot of time for you. They might be busy or they might be like distracted.
But yeah, this is why I was saying um, we have the lovers here. So the lovers, again, can be a soulmate or a twin flame. That's why I said before I felt like this might be a twin flame situation. A relationship or connection. It's almost like you two have to learn some life lessons individually before you two can be together as 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 a pair if that makes sense that's that's what is that's what's showing up for some of you here i feel like right now you two are not ready for each other but with the lovers i feel like there there is a possibility that maybe later in the later down in the future um, you two will reconnect because I do feel like there's a genuine connection here. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords and the Magician. I feel like there's a lot of like argument between arguments between you two, or disagreements, or fighting, or just your like I said, your energies just clash with each other at this moment in time. I feel like this person feels like they have a lot on their plate. They feel like they, they have a lot of responsibilities that they have to take care of. And they feel kind of overburdened by, by this relationship because they feel like they have feelings for you, but at the same time, they feel like they're trapped. I'm not sure by what. Tell me about the five of wands spirit. Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is what I was saying about feeling like overburdened. It's almost like this person feels like they need a break. They need to kind of take care of themselves first before they could ever um, think about having a commitment or a, a stable relationship with you. What's the Two of Wands? Yeah, we have Queen of Pentacles. I oh, know. I thought I always confuse this with the Queen of Pentacles. It's the Empress, the Empress in reverse, and we have the Temperance card. Yeah, Temperance can be a card of healing, but I feel like this could be you too. This pic, this picture here, could be a picture of you too um, in the future. But it does look like patience is required. I do feel like this is someone who needs to organize themselves and need and needs to kind of take care of themselves and take care of their life um, before they can incorporate you into their life. And and um, have a, a stable relationship with you. So for some of you, this person is married or with children or in a relationship or it's like they're unavailable. I feel like they're unavailable in some way. All right, I'm going to continue in the extended um, Scorpio. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions with you? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Please give me a thumbs up to my video. That would really help me out. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.